Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Gordo, you're on sundial and we need you on stopwatch. Up to it. What are you Jane doing still Ray. running around up here? Please call 470. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Gordon, don't touch that. Go use another computer. I'm not smug. I'm just better. Hands off, Buster. I'm expecting a message any minute. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? We've been waiting all morning to begin. Hey, it's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell's going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Ah, uh, copy. We can talk Damn, later, Gordon. Gordon. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Oh, would you look at that! Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Good morning, Gordon. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? Still studying paleomathematics, eh? Somebody get me a calculator. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. Later, Gordon. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. I've got this under control, Gordon. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. 
Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Uh, hold... just... hold on for one... Maxwell's moment. demon. It's cold in here. Gordon, I'm busy. Hello, Dr. Cross. Uh, hello, Dr. Cross. Hello, Dr. Cross. No, no, no. Don't fool yourself, Oscar. Ah, Dr. Cross, fancy seeing you here. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Sergeant, We can talk later, Gordon. I can't be bothered right now. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. Hope you're in top form this morning, Gordon. Can this wait till I'm off break? I never. What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um, that was you-know-who's lunch. Believe you me, I won't be taking the blame for this one. Just leave me out of this. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat? Just a minute, Gordon. Maybe later, Gordon. <sighs> Drat. No toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Remember my days in the hazardous environment suit? Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. 
Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud, and the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old Biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. You better make like traffic and jam. Things return to normal after this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Listen, I'm only going to explain this to you one more time. If you have a question, that isn't my problem. It's yours. Right. And if I have a question, it isn't my problem. Oh, contraire. It is still very much so your problem. Now. What's the extension of technical support? Really? I don't see a cup of coffee with two sugars in my hand. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Gordon! Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. What's up, Doc? Hi, Gordon. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Just hold on for... a moment. Hi. Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Pray tell... Greetings, Eli! More toner for the morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes... They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. 
<sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. Can this wait? You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide can these access fuckery the tasks. Server? I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Gordon, this had better be important. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. Testing. Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level or how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well within acceptable balance here. Sustaining sequence. 
We have just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Galalang Dark Long